the areas. Uh, I used to work down there, so I know a couple of them, and those are areas that were prone to flooding when they did get even just a few inches of rain. Yeah, it, it, it really was sad to kind of see what was unfolding down there in the Nashville area, western Kentucky yesterday. And then now here today, again, we have another busy forecast for yeah. us here locally this afternoon. Thankfully, not looking to be anything of that magnitude, not even anything of the magnitude of what we saw earlier this week here locally. So right now, we do have a couple showers that are starting to come down for areas north of the 275 loop. This is Butler County, Warren County, right around Middletown and Springboro, Lebanon seeing some sprinkles. We have some sprinkles along I-75 as well over toward Morrow, and then a little bit farther south, perhaps a couple sprinkles over toward Mason. What's going to move through today is a cold front. This is kind of our final push of active weather as we head into the weekend, but still it is going to bring us that potential for some active weather here later on today. That's really going to come into play starting this afternoon closer to about three or four o'clock. Rain chances will continue through the early evening, wrapping up likely before about 9 p.m. So this is when we could see a few strong to maybe even severe storms. We're talking about the potential for some heavy rainfall and then also the potential for some gusty winds, perhaps some hail too, and then a low, low end tornado threat, but still something there that we do have to keep you aware of. So as we go through the next couple of hours, we will still see that potential for some spotty light rainfall until about three or four o'clock. Then we'll begin to see a little bit more in terms of stronger thunderstorms moving in here, or at least a little bit more active thunderstorms, I should say. That stronger thunderstorm capability is going to come into play three, four o'clock or later this evening. Then by eight, we begin to dry out and will be dry through the day tomorrow. Still some cloud cover around for the first half of the day, but then as we get into Friday afternoon, likely seeing some sunshine. And then this upcoming weekend, not going to be a total miss. We do have a chance of rain on Saturday, mostly Saturday afternoon, but for the most part, that's it. As we go through Sunday, looks like it's going to finally shape up to be a nice day just in time for Mother's Day. So temperatures right now in Cincinnati sitting at 70 degrees. It's going to be humid out there today because dew points are just sitting in the 60s. So we're talking about a lot of moisture to work with in our atmosphere and we have a lot of cloud cover around too. Overall, it is a very just kind of gray day around town. Temperatures will continue to make their way up to about 75 this afternoon before we're finished topping out for the day. And that thunderstorm potential is going to come into play 3 o'clock, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then wrapping up shortly after sunset tonight. After that, we'll start to see temperatures falling a little bit. And then going through the next couple of days, we'll see some sunshine eventually once we get to Friday. 63 for a high temperature on Friday. Saturday is going to be a weather impact day. I should also mention today is too, but Saturday's weather impact day because of that chance of those scattered showers. Now on Sunday, if you are trying to celebrate mom, looks like a good day actually to get outside and enjoy. Temperatures are going to be in the 70s as we get into the afternoon and eventually too, it is going to be a little bit cool in the morning as well. Upper 40s to kick things off on Sunday. 71 though on Sunday afternoon after after that, we have some more.